Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, That Creepy Reading. And even though I said I would never talk about Kenshin again, something has made news. Something that only I, as a content creator, can fix. Apparently, someone who was watching the live stream last night decided to report Kenshin's video for community guidelines abuse, which is something I do not condone, which is something that is completely untrue and something that only I should be able to do. Which means that someone pretended to be me and decided to report the video. The video has since been taken down by YouTube and Kenshin has a community guideline strike on his channel as we speak. Last night, me and Kenshin talked out the issues and we all settled down and decided to begin anew. Me and Kenshin, I would consider him a friend as of this point and I really am upset with what just transpired. The only reason why I make this video is so Kenjin can repeal the actual strike and use this video as evidence that I myself did not create it, that I myself was not offended and I myself don't consider this harassment, bullying, or that kind of content. This video was not slander. He was simply giving his opinion on some of my recent actions. Although some of his opinions were not fully researched and, quite frankly, just downright wrong, it doesn't mean that he was trying to slander me or do anything along the lines. He was simply trying to give his opinion and perspective on me as a person and as a crew member. I myself have done this in the past when I made a video about DSP. Does that video deserve to be taken down simply because I reported my opinion on some of his recent actions? No, it does not. People have their opinion. People have freedom of speech. Slander or this harassment that he was reported for would only be valid if he in his video said that I should be hurt or encourage hurting me in some sort of way via the fans or via some way possible, like making a threat saying, I'm going to beat you up. No, he did not. He only presented his unadulterated opinion. And although it was poorly presented in some of the ways, I don't condone attacking his channel. The only reason why I made my video was because some of his fans attacked my channel in a similar way. And really, do you think I would want to wish that on someone, anyone, anywhere? I wouldn't even want to wish that on DSP, even though he's a lying scumbag who decides to nick people's artwork and then sell it as if it was his own. This has to stop. Whoever is reporting his videos, whoever continues to attack his videos on my behalf, understand that I do not condone such behavior. And by doing so, you're acting on your own volition and honestly has earned great disrespect from my end. I can't believe I have to make this video. And as soon as the strike gets repealed, this video will be going down. Expect some more content tonight. I am sorry that I actually had to make this, that I had to go on and spend time that I could be using to record to simply report that this is utter bullshit. People, please, in the video I mentioned several times, let's keep this civil. Don't report his videos. Don't go into his comment section and attack him. And for... God's sakes, reporting him, pretending to be me for harassment? Are you kidding? Really? Jesus. If you are the person who made that report, and you happen to be listening to this video, if there is some way that you can repeal it, or take it away, or take back the action, I'd recommend that you go do that now. Because this needs to stop. This is your host, That Creepy Reading. Expect some more content in the future. And as soon as this strike is repealed, this video will be taken down. Thank you for listening.